Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, May 13th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across thymus, e.g. thymus. Isn't that a gland? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm trying to think back to my biology class from high school. Let's see if that's right. Let's see if we can cross it on the downs here. Sanjay of CNN. I think that's Sanjay Gupta, right? That name sounds familiar. One of about five of blood in the average adult body. Is that a liter? Do we have five liters of blood? That sounds about right, I think. Partner of here, here, nor there. Hmm. Usually with partner, they want a word that goes with and, like here and blank. So maybe it's here and now. That's better. Okay, yeah, that's good. Fiddlesticks. So it's going to be kind of a quaint expression of frustration. Um, is it darn it? That WR looks really bad. Uh, it looks so bad that I'm not going to put it in. Let's see what this cross is here. Direction of some subway trains. That should be uptown. So maybe it's dang it instead. There we go. That's a little more quaint. Is this going to be quinoa? Food staple referred to as the gold of the Incas. Yeah, that's got to be quinoa. Okay. Got a Q. Bon mo. That's a clever turn of phrase. So that could be a quip. Yeah. And we've got a long down here. Out of the ordinary. Hmm. It's not abnormal. What's this cross here? What's on the agenda? That should be an item. So maybe this could be anomalous? Out of the ordinary? Yeah, that's a good word there. I like that. Oh, okay. Looks like we came across our first theme answer here. Um, is it movie themed? What's eating Gilbert Grape 2019? Well, What's Eating Gilbert Grape is a movie, but it didn't come out in 2019. That movie came out in the 90s. And this is looking like it's going to be Parasite, right? Okay, so is it like two movies where the answer can reference the Clue movie? Because a parasite could be eating Gilbert Grape? It sounds very unpleasant. Okay, yeah, let's uh, move forward with that as our idea of how the theme is gonna work for now. So a parasite is eating Gilbert Grape. Okay. Wood strip. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Fresh stuff. Huh. This is a little difficult cross here. Excessively showy. Gaudy, maybe? Fundamentally. Yeah, that should be like at base or... Hmm. I think I like that it starts with at, at least. Children in legalese. Issue? Is that what you call children? Hmm. I guess. Spur could be goad. If you goad someone into doing something, you spur them to do it. Man's name that can follow V or R to form an English word. Is it Igor? That could be vigor and rigor. Yeah, nice, okay. Word before child or human. Only child, only human, okay. Manhattan component. Well, Manhattan is a drink, so I imagine there might be some rum in it. PlayStation's creator. No, that should be Sony. So maybe it's not rum, maybe it's rye. Kind of whiskey. Okay. Okay, here's another movie. Dude, where's my car? 1979. 
Hmm. So this should be somewhere where you might find a car. Starts with sale. Huh. I'm not sure about that one. Tom blank shoe brand. Oh shoot. Didn't we just have this on the puzzle? Yeah, we did. It was on the puzzle on like Saturday or Sunday, I think. Oh man. I don't know if I'm going to remember it. I just read the Wikipedia article on it too. Hmm. Shoot. That's frustrating. I should remember that. Blown away? Could it be a GOG? Firebugs activity? Yeah, that should be arson. Okay, so maybe this is a GOG. Room for art. Like a artist studio or something? Results of flattery. Hmm. Blank free. Hmm. I'm not sure about a GOG. I don't know about the ending. I feel good about that A, but other than that... Prego alternative. Prego is a kind of tomato sauce, so maybe it's ragu. Cheese akin to cheddar. Oh, um, I don't know cheeses very well. Yeah. Petulant retort. Hmm. Is this more playground language? Musical featuring the Jellical Ball. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, it's probably cats. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a weird enough term that it might be showing up in cats. Um, can sew. I don't know. That sounds playgroundy. Yeah. This uh, this brand. I'm so embarrassed that I can't remember it. Hill figure for short, like Capitol Hill? That should maybe be a rep, like a congressional rep. Yeah. Have legs, so to speak. If you have legs, you last. I would want that to be last. Like, if you have legs, you can go the distance. Hmm. K blank. Oof. Well, we've got another grid spanning answer here that's probably a movie so let's take a look at that who framed roger rabbit 1995 oh man yeah these are really hard to come up with without any crossing help shoot okay snazziness could that be ilan what blank maybe what else Get a load of this. This is an exclamation mark clue. So what would you get a load of? Laundry? Yeah. Definitely laundry. Okay. Very good. Key of Beethoven's Eroica. Uh, well, it's looking like flat. <laughs> this could be pretty much any musical note though. So scram could be flea. Obsess in front of the mirror could be preen, like a pretty pigeon would do. Blank reflection, that should be upon reflection, like you would be reflecting in front of a mirror. Memorization could be rote. If you're learning something by rote, you just memorize it. Hmm. Maybe at heart for fundamentally? Yeah. E flat is a note, at least. Okay. So, can we get this one? This has to be another movie title. It's looking like it's going to be the usual suspects, right? Okay. I guess, I mean, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's just they're sort of vaguely, like, crime related. I don't know about that. Yeah. 
I guess they're just like answers that could plausibly be an answer to the question in the clue. I guess each movie title that we have as a clue is a question. Dude, where's my car? What's eating Gilbert Grape? And who framed Roger Rabbit? They're all questions, right? So I guess the answers are just like something that could plausibly be an answer to that question. Okay. All right. I guess that makes sense. Fresh stuff. I guess if you're being fresh, you're sassy. So that could be sass. A laugh. Um, I want to say laugh is maybe like the wood strip that's like behind the wall in like old buildings. Like, you know how in old movies, if they break down the wall, there's like wooden slats behind the wall. I think maybe that's what laugh is. That's my best guess. Beavering away could be at it if you're hard at work. Yeah. Pal of Porthos and Aramis. Those are the musketeers, right? So the third musketeer would be Athos. Don't forget about D'Artagnan. Uh, CD holders, maybe. Uh, well, CDs could be compact discs. They could also be certificates of deposit, like an investment vehicle at a bank. So maybe an IRA could hold certificates of deposit, individual retirement accounts. That seems pretty plausible to me. NPR's blank radio hour. I don't think it's the radio hour. I'm not sure what it is though. More than a couple? Could it be a threesome? I think that's probably okay. Psyops say? Hmm. Is it head something? Like head games? Yeah, because if you're playing with someone's mind, you're doing psyops. Okay, yeah. Ted Radio Hour? I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Spur could be egg on. We've got another spur. Goad and egg on. They both have the same meaning. Very interesting there. Valleys. <laughs> Is it glens? I think it might be. Glens, yeah. Okay, let's look at these crosses here. One of 150 in the Bible. I think that sounds like the number of Psalms. You said it, sister. That could be amen, an equivalent phrase. Supermodel holiday. Hmm. Is it going to be Tess? I don't recognize that name. Cool 90s style. Well, I'm a 90s kid, so I should know this. I guess that's fat. Pretty hot and tempting. I don't know if that actually is what it stands for, but I heard that that's what the initials stand for. Okay, film that lost to Green Book for Best Picture. Is it Roma? Is that right? This is looking like it might be Home Alone if it's a movie, right? Oh brother, where art thou? Home Alone? Yeah, I guess that's right, because Kevin had a lot of siblings, right? So he would be everyone's brother that they'd be asking about. Okay, yeah, that's good. Chocolate blank could be a chocolate lab. Cute little pooch. Like early Elvis records. Hmm. I don't know that much about Elvis. I don't know if I'm going to know that. Top dog. Hmm. Woody and Buzz's owner in Toy Story. That's Andy. Let's give him a nice big Andy's room welcome. I remember that line. Oh, okay. So maybe Elvis Records were mono before they started recording in stereo. Okay. Codas could be ends. Yeah, the coda is the end of something. Oh, the top dog is just a boss. Okay, this is metaphorical. It's not literal. I was trying to think of like an alpha dog or something like that. Low pocket pair in Texas Hold'em. I think they call threes trays in poker. So maybe that's trays. If you have two of them. Award-winning streak, Merrill. That's very straightforward there. How the West was won, 1969 and 2010. Ooh, 
I know this one because I love this movie. True Grit. I've only seen the Coen Brothers version, but it's so good. Oh man, True Grit is so good. And the soundtrack is great. Man, everything about that movie is great. Okay. Cafe order. Um, I don't know much about coffee. Uh, jeez. Yeah, let's come back to that. I need some help. Swan reflecting elephants, e.g. This sounds like a piece of art. I mean, maybe it could be a painting. Maybe it's a Dali painting. I've never heard of it, but... Uh, yeah, because this is French, right? Café. So maybe it could be au lait, like with milk. If you're specifying, yeah. Rug buyer's consideration could be pile. Like the threads coming up out of a carpet. Much abbreviated Latin phrase. Uh, probably id est. That's abbreviated to ie very often. That is. When you're giving an example of something. Breeders documents. That should be a pedigree. Pedigrees plural maybe. Charged. Hmm. Ran at? <laughs> like a bullwood or something? Okay. PR concern could be image. Stun in a way should definitely be tase. Okay, so is this about Indian music? No, Hindu avatar. Okay. Rama. That's right. I think it's like a god, right? Rama? Okay. Setting for some courts, arenas, like a basketball court, yeah. Yeah, I think I was thinking of Raga. I think that's the Indian musical scale, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yeah, maybe I was mixing up those two things. What was cool for a long time? I guess it was an ice age. Yeah, this is wordplay, so that would be a very long, cool period. One of a noted quintet. Uh, well, you have five senses, right? So maybe taste would be one of your five senses. Elvis's record label is RCA. I guess they recorded all his records in mono. Okay, so can we get these long downs now? We've got some extra fill in here. Um, room for art. Wow. I'm going to take out so, because that seems like it's not helping. Um, yeah, and rep, and rep looks bad too, because I wanted this to be last, so... Um, but then what, what could this be? Hill figure. Maybe it's just a Paul, like a politician. Generic, more generic than rep. Okay. Um, hmm... Maybe this could be que pasa, like how's it going, right, in Spanish? So this could be space, some kind of space. Gallery space? Results of flattery. Hmm. Maybe this is can so. This should be ego boosts, right? Okay, yeah, a gog was wrong after all. We were thinking that was kind of shaky. Okay, so blown away. That could be odd. Okay, there we go. And this could be duty free. Um, room for art. Boy. Wall space? Oh, okay, there we go. And then I think Colby is a cheese I've heard of, maybe? Boy, that's out of my wheelhouse. That's out of my cheese wheelhouse. Um, oh yeah, it was McCann, right? Because it was in that horrible knot of names on the Sunday. Man, how did I forget that already? It's only been like three days. Okay, so McCann and then Salem's Lot. Oh, that's a pretty cute answer, actually. Because it would be in a car lot. Okay, I have seen Salem's Lot. I should have thought of that. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Nice. Wow, we breezed through that Thursday, just over 20 minutes. That was a very quick Thursday for us. 
How do I feel about this puzzle? I think, I think I wasn't really feeling it at first because it seemed like it was just sort of like random movie titles that sort of were related based on a theme. I was like, I guess they're sort of like crime related. But then once I realized that all the clues were actually questions, how the West was won, Oh brother, where art thou? Yeah, I think I liked it more after that, even though they're still sort of like, they're sort of just still sort of vaguely related. Like this one is just like, oh, there's a brother. So that could be an answer. This one's very, very loosely related. I mean, it's like it took grit to win the West. I mean, true grit is also a Western. So maybe that sort of is another point in its favor. Um, I like this one a lot because it's got like a car lot in the answer. I think that's maybe the strongest one. Um, but yeah, I think I'm still a little lukewarm on this, but I like it better than I did at first blush at least. And I do love movie themes. So that also is kind of recommending it to me. I think I've seen almost every one of these movies. Is there any I haven't seen? I haven't seen the original True Grit. So that's kind of a half one I haven't seen. I also haven't seen How the West Was Won, okay. Um, oh Brother, Where Art Thou was one of my favorite movies. And so is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Um, I don't think I've seen Dude, Where's My Car either. So <laughs> I guess there's, I haven't seen about like 10% of these or 20%, but uh, yeah, it still was not too hard. It, we only solved it in 20 minutes. So that was a very brisk Thursday. I think that's the overall theme of the puzzles this week is uh, solving them quicker than usual. But uh, yeah, I think I liked the rest of the fill on the puzzle. It was pretty nice. Um, nothing too crazy. There was a good amount of wordplay, I think. Like what was cool for a long time for Ice Age. Um, yeah, I think it maybe was just a little on the easy side, but still pretty enjoyable. And we got to go over a lot of our favorite movies, so I can't be too mad at that. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this double feature with me, and I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Friday puzzle. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.